Good morning from Charleston, everyone. It's actually a miracle that I'm here to tell the tale because we stopped off in Colombia just for one night and Eli insisted we went on a bike ride with no helmets on because they didn't give helmets, they only gave bikes. And I honestly nearly died and I'm, like, I'm not joking when I say that, I got bibbed at by a massive fucking truck because stupid me, I assumed that it's the same in England where if you're riding a bike on the road, the car has to go around you. But apparently in Colombia, they just go straight into you. So uh, that was fun. We're gonna head to a coffee shop to do some work because I want to edit my Atlanta video and do some other bits. I said Atlanta vlog, I meant Lake House vlog. Also, I didn't wear makeup the whole week in the lake house and it was so nice and my skin, I think, really cleared up. So I th figured it was to do with not wearing makeup, but I've had a few breakouts recently. However, I'm still trying to not put any makeup on because I don't want to make it worse. But then I can't figure out why I've now, I'm now breaking out because my skin was literally loving me. Um, when I was wearing no makeup and nothing's changed. I'm still not wearing makeup So I don't know why it's now broken out. I've also been eating really healthily So I was like, oh, maybe that's why my skin's cleared up because I'm eating really healthily But then I read and apparently your skin can like purge when you eat healthily. So maybe that's what these spots are, but Also, I always touch my face so that could be another thing, but they're really annoying, but Anyway, hopefully they'll go I won't bore you with another Whole Foods haul, but Whole Foods is where it's at. I'm just gonna unpack the bags actually, then we'll talk. Okay, everything's away. We, oh, I really hate these bits of hair. I just don't know what to do with them. This morning we went and did work in a really nice coffee shop, which as per usual, I forgot to film, but it was really, really cute. We sat outside under an umbrella and I basically finished editing up my lake house vlog, which I'm really happy with. I absolutely love it. And part of the reason that I always make these videos is that since I was like 14, I've made videos of my trips with my family and my dad still has them all on his computer at work. So he'll just watch them sometimes or I'll look back on them. And they're from like 10 years ago, which is so insane to think, but I just love having all those nice memories to look back on. And as I was, editing this vlog i kept thinking like i'm so excited to look back on this in like three years eli's just gone to park the car so he'll be back in a second and i'm not sure what our plan for the rest of the day is i think we're just gonna make breakfast slash lunch because we didn't actually eat anything we just grabbed a coffee such a chilled night yesterday we literally just made some dinner here i don't think i filmed it and then we watched sister act in bed together which is one of my favorite films and i went to bed at about 10 p.m which was great um now eli has gone to listen to 
some kind of speech because it's the 4th of July. It's our first time, or definitely mine, maybe not Eli's, but it's my first time being in the States for the 4th of July, so I'm very excited. And I just have a quick call in half an hour. So I'm gonna make breakfast and probably do my hair before. We walked for hours and hours yesterday. There was loads of things I wanted to do in Charleston but didn't think we'd have the time to do. But we walked for such a long time that we ended up just passing all the things I wanted to see on the way anyway, like the rainbow houses. I can't remember if that's what it's called. Rainbow Row, we saw. Um, we walked through the city market and then also saw the pineapple fountain. So we had a nice afternoon, read our books in the sun, and I just love Charleston. And obviously now I've been in America for nearly three weeks and I'm manifesting that at some point I'll move here. Anyway, I'm just gonna have some Greek yogurt and berries and granola for breakfast. And I'm just gonna shove the granola and berries into this pot so that I don't have to do any washing up. <laughs> I couldn't figure out the coffee machine, so I ended up having to boil my water on the stove. I'm just packing my bag to leave for the day. RX bars. If you don't know, get to know, because these things are my favorite and they are going straight in the bag. I wore this exact outfit in my Atlanta vlog. It's like a, just a really loose jumpsuit, play suit, and it's so comfortable. And also, because it's the 4th of July, we have to be in the spirit. So this is coming on, baby. Can you see it like that? Oh yeah, I'm off to meet Eli. busy busy morning we just got back and I'm absolutely boiling and sweating so I'm just gonna hop in the shower hi vlog we're just ready to leave for the 4th of July fireworks Eli can you show them your outfit yep okay look at that look how lovely you look I am wearing these jeans that I bought yesterday I kid you not they literally feel like I'm wearing a tracksuit. Oh, did you just throw that receipt away? I actually want to tell them where it's from. I just grabbed this out the bin to show you, but this is the brand of the jeans. I don't know if, if this helps, but I would highly recommend them. I honestly feel like I'm in a tracksuit. And I'm really not a jeans girl, so that's saying something. And then plain white t-shirt and the America jumper. I've also French plaited my hair because I think I just want it to be out of my face and I'm not sure how windy it's gonna be. And then same sandals because they're my comfiest ones. However, I did start to blister on my toe actually this morning. 
So I'm bringing a pair of Havianas in here with me just in case. Um, anything else? No, that's everything for the fit today. took us about 40 minutes to get an uber and we had to walk how long do you reckon we walked for about 40 minutes yeah probably about 40 minutes we just walked past all these cars in traffic all of our ubers kept cancelling well actually all of eli's ubers kept cancelling so i booked one and i messaged the lady saying like we're walking towards where you are but all the roads are blocked so like you can't come down here but we can come to you i just don't know how long it's going to take us and she must have waited for like 10 or 15 minutes for us she was so 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 nice um so i love her i think her name was siobhan i don't know how to do the other side of my heart because i'm holding my camera but we love siobhan um and also while she was waiting people were like shooting fireworks in the street and one went into her tire so on the way back we stopped at a petrol station and she pumped up her tire in case you were wondering yeah now i have quite horrendous blisters on my feet but it's okay because we made it home i honestly thought it was going to take us a lot longer than that but an hour all in all is not bad well an hour and ten i think it was and i think we're going to finish the movie that we started earlier then we have a relatively early start because we're leaving tomorrow and we have to drive back up to atlanta and drop the car but the coffee shop that we went to on the first day I really want to go back to. So I'm making Eli come with me early in the morning. I'm so tired. Gotta go. Yeah. 